awakening with brahma kumaris namaskar welcome to awakening with brahma kumaris you're watching hela within welcome sister om shanti om shanti and welcome to hela within thank you so much in the last episode we were speaking about uh, feeling like going back home mm. and uh, the cycle yeah like we saw the law of time two hmm. things are applicable one is that everything is cyclic and the other law that is working is that everything moves from new to old everything okay. anything you buy something is going to be new then it will be old can you, we call it birth to death yeah construct it construct something when you construct it it will be new goes to old like you said birth to death new body Hmm. gradually disease then gradually old age fragile and then it's over so everything will go from new to old, to old. these two laws are applicable on time hmm. one it will be cyclic and one it will be from new to old now i look at the bigger cycle that something was new fresh energized and then over a period of time it got to old when it moves from new to old another way of looking at it is that it was in a very perfect ordered state and then gradually it moved towards a chaotic stage when it moves towards a chaotic stage at that time you require a higher source of energy to intervene and take it back to the ordered stage which is the law of entropy which we see the whole day so when we understand this that we were new we were charged we were fresh energized and then over a period of time got discharged old and then a higher source of energy will intervene again recharge us replenish us and bring us back to the new state this is working in a cycle so as we saw that all the souls we are in the soul world when the soul is in the soul world it is at its peak highest potential of the soul are what the soul is that's why we said i am peaceful i am loveful this will be the soul now at this time the soul leaves the soul world and comes on to this planet this is moving in a cycle but we have to take a point to start with the cycle it will not have a beginning and an end it's cyclic but just for reference we will take the point where we come down on this planet now see a world Con- try and imagine it a world where all the souls are perfect and all the souls are completely charged every soul is pure beautiful peaceful loveful how would that world be sounds like a dream today it looks like a dream because it's nowhere that i can see it today but why do i think of it because once it was a reality so which is remembered by many words like heaven paradise golden age in hindi we say satyug jannat jannat swarg. Yes, swarg because where everything was perfect now when we say swarg paradise jannat we think it's somewhere up there hmm. swarg heaven was here and nark hell will also be here here because heaven is when i the soul am completely pure and hell will be when i the soul completely impure impure as is the collective consciousness of all the souls so is society if today we see society let's see society 50 years before 100 years before technologically we have advanced but value system we have been degrading because the soul has become impure so the cycle begins the reference point it begins when a time when all the souls are perfect pure complete the population is very low very low god comes and shares this knowledge with us of the cycle and says that the golden age begins with only 9 lakh souls in the world that's all that's the beginning population resources are the same but the population which is going to use that resources will be only 9 lakh this period is called the golden age the satyug the paradise where there will be a kingdom 
there will be a king, there will be a queen, there will be, you know, the subjects, there will be somebody who look after them, which we can say staff or servants. But every soul will be a pure soul. Roles will be different, but the souls will be pure souls, every soul. So this kingdom will have only one king. There won't be, because it's one, it's a world of unity. One king, one language, one religion. And a religion of peace and love. There will not be any divisions. It's one society. And when the soul is pure, how will the body be? Perfect. Who will be the king? Who will be the king? According to the role, those roles are fixed. Which role? It's like a movie. Who will be the king? Who will be the queen? Who will play this role? That role will be fixed for the soul, which we will see further on in this series. But that king will be a pure soul, just playing the role of a king. He will not even have this consciousness that I am higher to these people because there the soul will be 100% soul conscious. Like today, we are 100% body conscious. We are 100% role conscious. There the soul will be 100% soul conscious. They will not have a feeling that I am a role. For them, being a king is just one of the things by which they will bring out their values. The subjects will not have a feeling that I am lower and he is higher. It will be like a parent and a child. The king will be the parent and the subjects and everybody else in the kingdom will be like a children. And the king and the queen will look after them like children. They will not have this feeling that, oh, we are kings and they are supposed to do this. It will be so much of love and compassion because every soul is complete. So this will be mother, father and a family. Absolutely. Mother, so father. not like a subject or ruler or king and slave. Not at all. No. Not at all. And mother, father also, not like the mother, father of today. Mother, unconditional love. Unconditional. Because these are souls who've just come from the soul world. When the soul will be perfect, the body will also be perfect. Today, why do we have diseases and illnesses? Because of the weaknesses and the emotions of the mind. When the soul is completely pure, body will be perfect. Perfect. These souls in this golden age, in Satyug, are called divine souls because they have that original divinity and they are the ones whom we remember even today as deities. Divine souls. Everyone is a divine soul, which in Hindi is called Devi Devtas. Deities. Everyone divine, pure, complete. Body will also be complete and perfect. Yeah. There will be no such thing as disease, no pain, no untimely death. Every soul will take a body, live its complete life of about 150 years. That will be the average age span. And after 150 years, in a very natural way, very natural that now I've completed everything that I had to do through this body, and now it's time for me, the soul, to leave this body and take another Like one. you play a role in a film. Absolutely. I've completed my role here, now I'm going to do another film. Another film, another role, another costume. Just because this is, the, this is how a soul consciousness being will live. Mm. Like how when you will move from one movie to the next, mm. so naturally you will do it. Na? Okay, 3 to 5 p.m. I was to be for this movie. So you're completely giving yourself to that movie completely with the actors there. So you'll say, I'm totally involved in this. I'm completely with this role, with the actors. But when it's five o'clock and you know it's time to leave, you won't cry. You won't feel bad that, oh, I'm leaving these actors. I'm leaving this costume. No, it'll be so natural. Now time, next movie, next set of actors, next costume. It, happily go home. Happily. This will also be just like that. These are the souls which we will call deities, Devi Devtas, the divine souls. And what is very important is their entire kingdom is like that. This we need to understand because today when we read the uh, stories or the scriptures or mythology and when we read about the deities, the Devi Devtas, we seem to have evil characters with all of them at that time when they were living. You know, like 
with Sri Krishna we'll have Kans, with Sri Ram we have Ravan. So all the stories that we hear today say that when there was good, there was also Bad. evil. And every time there seems to be, it's never good alone. It says good and there was evil. Why that happened, we'll see later. But we need to understand that there are times in the whole cycle when it was completely good, then gradually the good started declining and then we come to a little good, a little bad, which means pure souls and then gradually moving towards a little impurity and then finally moving to a time today when we are almost all of us are impure. We can't say it evil, but it's impure. Yes, we are all weak. We are all impure. But it was like a battery which was fully charged, then partially charged and now discharged, almost discharged. So why the scriptures and the stories were written later on, they had a reason for that. But when the deities were there in this world, it was only them. All of them were divine souls. And like you said, who's the king? The first prince of this golden age is Sri Krishna and Sri Radhe. And then of course dynasties after dynasties. But it's, we need to open our mind to this thing that the, when we say heaven, when we say paradise, there cannot be evil in it. If there is evil in paradise, then it's not paradise. If there is bad in heaven, then it's not heaven, then it's hell. So heaven means where everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Now we just have to conceptualize this world. In this world, at this time in heaven, we will not remember God because we will not need Him. We are perfect, we are happy. The whole kingdom, the whole family is happy. There's no need for the healer. There's no need for God. So there is no concept of prayer, worship, remembrance of God, no religion as we see it today. Religion was in action, peace, love, which we are reading and writing today was in action. So there is no worship, there is no God and there is no remembrance of God. This is the perfect world. This, is, this world continues for about 1250 years. Why is there no remembrance of God? Because when the child goes down to play and begins playing, initially it's having a good fun. time. It doesn't need the parent. Similarly, the soul, like it's like a person who's healed, healthy, doesn't need a doctor. Child who's happy, doesn't not looking for the parent, he's enjoying his game. Similarly, the soul means perfect, come just come fresh onto the planet, coming out into action doesn't remember God. Like you said, when we leave one country and go to another country, initially when we go, we don't think of coming back home or coming to the parents. Two years, three years, four years, we have a very good time. It's only after some time that we start missing that comfort and that feeling of being at home. So there is no remembrance of God. There's no remembrance. There's no concept of even, you know, creating places of worship and remembering Him. This period goes on for about 1250 years. Gradually, as the soul uses a body, leaves the body, takes another body, the purity of the soul, very, very slowly, not the way it is today, very, very slowly will start reducing. It's like a battery which will gradually, very gradually start discharging. And the next period, like morning and after that afternoon, the afternoon is what we call Silver Age. In Hindi, Treta Yuga. Now, Silver Age is also almost perfect. Almost perfect. Where it's again all divine souls, but a little, little lesser than what we were in the Golden Age. Now, one thing that the Supreme Power comes and tells us is, once the soul comes to play a part, it will take a costume, leave the body and take another costume. It does not go home in between. Once on the stage, on the stage. And that's why population will constantly keep increasing because for souls from the soul world will keep coming. coming. But the ones which are on the stage will continue being on the stage. 
and change the costumes. Change the costume. So when we come to the Silver Age, population has increased because in the meantime, souls will keep coming from the soul world. But the ones who were there in the Golden Age will continue to be here and will therefore also be in the Silver Age. It's like in a movie, the one who's there in the first scene is going to be there till the end of the movie, but somewhere in between more actors start getting added to the story. The hero actor, the one who's playing the longest role in the movie, is there in the movie right from the beginning till the end. end. And in between, more actors will keep coming and become a part of the story. By the end of this Silver Age, the population on this stage, the world stage, is 33 crore. That is 330 million. And that's why even today it's remembered as 33 crore Devi Devta, 33 crore Devi Devta, which means the entire population of 33 crore deities, they were all Devi Devtas. That's why they're remembered even today. Now it started with a population of 9 lakh. Gradually, those 9 lakh souls, which were there in the beginning of the Golden Age, continue to be on the stage. And in the meantime, souls from home keep joining them. It's like you said earlier, one person leaves the country, goes to another place. Then he calls all his family, right. gets married, Absolutely. brothers, sisters. Absolutely. Parents are there, back there in the village. So parents are there. One brother, one son from the family leaves that village, leaves the country, goes to another country, flourishes there, does very well. So, others join... Christopher that, Columbus. Absolutely. So, others join him and all of them are leaving the parents and coming and joining the brothers. And they're all creating their own world there and having a very good time. Similarly happened with all of us. We, all the children, the souls, were with the parent at home. The first initial set of children came on to this planet and start, took the costume. You know how we have to see how it must have felt when a soul completely pure first time took a costume, first time expressed itself, experienced, created their own world. And then gradually more brothers, more souls started joining them and this world started expanding. Now, this society, this is also a society, just like society today. It will have its hierarchy. It will have, we will have art, we will have culture, we will have education, we'll have a teacher, but everything is happening in a very soul conscious way. Everything is happening in a soul conscious way and we have to see how we would be in this world. The external stimulus will not give us happiness. It will not be like let's say art and culture will not be like art and culture today. Today art and culture gives us happiness. You know we can use a movie, a song, a drama, a dance to create happiness. We use it this way. In that period, it will be used like this. The happiness, the radiance of the purity of the soul will radiate into its art and culture. They will not be doing it for happiness. They will be doing it just as one of their acts of creativity. It will not be a dependency. It will not be, I need this to be happy because there will be no pain in that period. Now, I, the soul, need to ask myself, how would this world be and create it here? Because this is how we begin our journey. Each of us have begun our journey through this golden and silver age. 1250 years golden age, 1250 years Silver Age. So this is 2,500 years. This now we've crossed the morning and the afternoon of the bigger world cycle. Now interval. Now interval, yes. Now by the time we cross half this cycle, we have been using a body, leaving a body, using a body. Gradually, the attachment to the body has begun. Earlier, it's like wearing a new ring. Earlier, aware. I'm wearing the ring. Gradually, the, wing, the ring becomes a part of me. It's there. Similarly, by the time we're reaching the end of Silver Age, gradually we've started getting attached to this body. More body conscious. More body conscious. 
in this half cycle, the first half cycle, none of the vices are there. No lust, no greed, no anger, no ego, no attachment. As we are gradually becoming body conscious, our attachment to the body and therefore when I see myself as a body, I will also see the opposite person as a body. This will happen very gradually. We will not even be aware that something different is happening. Like today, we are shifting from body consciousness to soul consciousness. We are doing it with awareness, with attention, with practice. But when we shift it from soul consciousness to body consciousness, we are not doing it with awareness. It's just going to happen very, very, very naturally. It's like build a new house and it gradually is declining and moving towards the old. Make the old again renovate it to new or construct a new, it's a whole process of awareness. So gradually when I think I'm a body and look at another person also as a body, that is when the first traces, very, very slightly, the first traces of lust, ego, attachment, anger. Because now when I'm a body, everything will become a different perspective. Now I'll start looking for happiness outside. I will need objects, so greed will come. I will fear death because if I am a body, that means I am going to die. Then attachment, all these vices will gradually start creeping in, very gradually. When these vices start creeping in, then they will be higher and lower. In this, this is the copper age. We've just begun the entry into the evening, the copper age of the world cycle. In Hindi, we say Dwapar Yug. Now, Dwapar Yug means Do. Dwapa, duality. A golden age and silver age, it was single. There was no difference of, you know, no difference of opinion. Everything was one, unity. Unity in religion, unity in kingdom, unity in language, one language, one country, one king, one religion. From Dwapar Yuga, the Copper Age, it is a period of duality. Now, when there is duality, then will differences start. Now there will be more than one king. There will be different kingdoms. Then there will be different languages, different cultures. Now this is the time when these vices just start creeping in. I, the soul, will start experiencing pain. Very little pain, not like today. Little pain, little anger. And when we start experiencing this, society will start disintegrating. There will be conflicts, there will be fights, there will be cheating. And when this happens, we are going to start looking for God. Because we have that memory that He is the parent. You know, it's like brothers who have now started having a dispute. And when they have a dispute, when they have a difference of opinion, or when they have a fight, they'll remember father. father. They'll start missing the parent and start missing the home. So it is at the beginning of Copper Age, Dwapar Yuga, that we start looking for God. Now, we need to remember the souls here who are now in a little pain and who start looking for God are the ones who started their journey from the beginning of Golden Age. See, what happens is, at every step, the souls who will come from the soul world to this planet will become a part of what society will be then. Like today. Hmm. Today, society is in pain. Collectively, we are all weak, we are in pain. So if a fresh soul comes from the soul world now, because population is still increasing, so there are still a number of souls who are coming from the soul world. These souls, when they come from the soul world, the battery is charged. Because every soul who is going to come from the soul world, battery will be charged. But when they come into this kind of a society, very soon they will become a part of that society. Which means very soon their stage, their state of being will be what the state of society is. It is the influence of the society on the soul. That's why even if today somebody is with values and principles, very soon they tend to feel affected by what is happening around them. Even if they don't give up their principles, just living by principles seems to be a challenge today.
and at times they tend to get a little irritated that why is the world not living with so they're not able to maintain their purity along with their principles because the principles creates even if a simple principle like punctuality i will be on time but people around me don't come on time people around me are not sincere so because i don't have that purity my values tend to cause me anger or irritation because everyone else is not there the same way like me so similarly when we come into the copper age there are some souls who have been on this earth from the golden age mm. some who came from the silver, silver age, age and some who are joining fresh now in, in the copper age now the ones who came from the golden age golden the, age is the satyug satyug then comes treta treta then dwapar dwapar yug now these souls have all come from the soul world so they have a faint memory who is god just like them another soul a point of light and so when we start building the first temples in the remembrance of god the first temples are the shiv jyoti ling and that's why today in india we say the most ancient temples the heritage is the shiv jyoti ling because that's the first memory the first the which we say the bhakti which starts in its purest form is of the accurate remembrance of god it's later on that we shiv hm jyoti jyoti is the light light and ling, and ling is, is the symbol 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 so, so symbol of point of light yes okay the so shiv ling shiv ling is the symbolic uh, of a point of light now draw a picture of this make a statue of this make a monument of this because we want to worship it and when we worship we want to offer flowers we want to offer milk so we need a little i can't draw a dot there so we started giving it a little magnified shape and idea. form then later on someone used stone someone used silver someone used gold someone used diamonds that was not god that was a symbol of mm. the point of light this we have to be very clear symbol of the point of light those were the first temples that we started then of course the journey went on much further which we will see in the next episode then but till here we need to see our journey very clearly how i the soul am initially very pure perfect beautiful and i have a great time here it's a wonderful world it is not the world which i'm seeing today it's beautiful my actors are beautiful my costume is beautiful disease free healthy society is beautiful and in harmony that is how i the soul begin my journey in this world thank you so much sister om shanti om shanti time is cyclic and everything moves from new to old law of entropy states that things move from a state of perfection to a state of chaos a higher source then intervenes to take it back to perfection souls are in a state of perfection in the soul world from there we come on the world stage soul is pure body is perfect and nature in harmony this is golden age satyug where there is oneness one king one religion and one language after golden age comes the silver age these two ages together are called heaven or paradise here peace is the religion love is the language truth is an action and happiness is a way of living om shanti
Jesús. 